On the 17th of October 2018, at around 1am GMT, YouTube went down for just over two hours. Social media was flooded with jokes, rants, and a few people shot out some theories. It caused quite a stir online and later in the news. But when the site came back online, people soon moved on and forgot about the whole thing. Two hours before the outage, a live stream started called A Beautiful Sunset. Personally, I'm not big into YouTube. I definitely appreciate it as the new culture media hub it's became, but I just use it to listen to music and background noise. My roommate, however, is someone who lines up more as a fan of YouTube. He has subscribed to a lot of channels over the years he's been on there. One theme he's always leaned towards is horror channels. The dark side of YouTube, he called them. He would listen to scary stories, conspiracy theories, and horror movie reviews. I personally didn't have the time or patience to watch these videos, but I loved hearing about them. He'd usually condense what he'd heard into a short TLDR for me, and then we'd have something new to talk about. It was a great way to keep up conversations with him, and he loved talking about things to an outsider to add to his opinions. This, of course, didn't stop him trying to get me to watch and listen to the things he loved, but I just politely turn him down and wait for him to tell me about them afterwards. This doesn't mean I would ignore what he'd tell me about. I didn't just apathetically listen when he'd rave on about a new thing he'd just found. I genuinely paid attention and chimed in when I could. This is why I remember so well a live stream he excitedly found. It was a small live stream. It only had about 20 to 30 viewers when he joined in, but it slowly grew in numbers over time. It was called A Beautiful Sunset. I cut away from the usual content he normally watched, I thought, when I first heard the name. When he pulled me into his room, I saw a live stream of a clean, open field, grass swaying. The sun was blazing in the horizon, not quite set but threatening to soon rest away from human eyes. The light emanating from the sun, bathing the scene in a serene pink and orange glow. Quite honestly, it was beautiful. So I could understand people watching the stream in a sort of visual ASMR. But again, this seemed way off from what my roommate usually watched. When he told me about it, it made much more sense. As I watched the viewer count rise, then fall, then rise again in very sudden spikes, he said this live stream was appearing in a lot of people's recommended page. Another weird out of place video blasted to a lot of people's feeds. One thing they had in common was that they were mostly made up of horror fans, so naturally I didn't see it when I checked my page. Because of this, he theorized that this had some sort of deeper element. Trust a conspiracy fan to think like a conspiracy theorist. But he wasn't alone. The Discord group he was in all seemed to entertain this idea. To me, if they were right, it was a fresh new experience they were about to share and be a part of firsthand. If they were wrong, they'd spend the night watching a beautiful sunset. Either way, I thought he'd have his fun. However, I was still uninterested in spending my whole evening on this. So I told him that I didn't want to join in, but he was free to message me if something interesting happened. At this, I went back to my room, listened to music, and kept Discord on my second monitor so I could see his messages as they came. I soon started to regret my decision at this agreement. He was relentless in his messages. I wasn't watching the live stream, but I may as well have been with how much he messaged me. He read into everything. A bird would fly past and he would tell me, along with a timestamp, followed by some quick math on the numbers in case something stood out. The screen would flicker at intervals and he would do the same thing to that too. 
Sometimes there'd be a sound, and he would update me on what his friends were theorizing it was. I swear at some points, he was just using our chat as a place to take notes. I didn't mind though. I could not wait to talk to him about the various things afterwards, and I was especially excited to hear his thoughts on the conclusion to all this. To me, this would be a juicy conversation. There was one theory that him and his friends all agreed on, which he repeated to me a number of times. They all believed that something would happen the moment the sun set. This made sense to me since a sunset could be used as a countdown of sorts, and the darkness would be a perfect transition to add a morbid twist. I toyed with the idea of joining the live stream for that, but I felt part of the fun in our conversations was the dynamic of him explaining things to someone who wasn't in the know. This wasn't for lack of trying on his part, but I decided to let him have this. Besides, I was preoccupied with my own things. After a while, the update stopped, and for about an hour, I never received a word about what was going on. The last few messages were about how the sun was just about to slip behind the horizon and night was approaching. By then, I was already deep into whatever time sink I'd fallen into, and it slipped my mind to check. I assumed that he was heavily invested at that point, and didn't want to switch to Discord in case he missed anything important. Almost an hour after the last message, something weird happened. My music stopped playing on my YouTube tab. Bemused, I checked to see if my autoplay session had timed out. But instead, I was greeted by a grey block where the video should have been, and small grey blocks on all the thumbnails on the related videos. Confused, I tried going to the homepage, but that had the same effect. Just grey squares where the thumbnails and titles should have been. I checked my internet connection by trying different sites. Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. They all worked. Each site I checked had many references to others experiencing the same thing. Twitter and Facebook had a lot of people making jokes about it, and the YouTube subreddit was full of reports and complaints. It seemed to be a worldwide thing. Something which I don't think had ever happened before. YouTube generates its money from ad revenue, so it must have been taken a huge hit to be down like this. I remembered my friend and his live stream so I went to check on my friend to see how he was dealing with it. I peered into his room after giving his door a small knock. His back was to me, and I could see on his screen what used to be a YouTube page, now just grey squares on the dark theme background. He wasn't moving, so I presumed he had fallen asleep on his chair. A shame because he was very into his little ARG, but convenient that YouTube went down knowing he would have probably been let down at that unfortunate timing of the outage. The next day, we met in the kitchen. I was making my usual breakfast, and he stepped in, groggy from a bad sleep. I poked fun at him about falling asleep on his chair in front of his computer. He squinted at this and shook it off. After a bit of small talk, I brought up the live stream ready to be regaled in the information he'd gathered and what his friends thought. Again, he shook this off, fervent, that he didn't know what I was talking about. After everything that happened, I couldn't shake that off, so I confronted him about it. I brought up all of the previous evening's events, about how him and his friends were all into this weird ARG, and wouldn't shut up about it, that he bombarded me with messages about it, and that he fell asleep on his chair after YouTube went down. His bemused squints turned into a look of confusion, and a hint of panic. His eyes darted around as he tried to recall the previous night. Once he settled on something, 
his face calmed down and he told me in a monotone voice that he never saw a live stream and that he went on a walk last night and afterwards went to sleep. I challenged this, saying I had the messages to prove that was false and following it with questions about where he went. He again had a look of panic as his eyes darted around in thought. But suddenly, his look faded into a calm, blank expression, and in a dull tone, he said he remembered no such thing, and it was just a walk, nothing more. I cocked my head at this, and took him to my room. The annoying thing is, when I pulled up our Discord messages, Anything about the live stream was deleted by user, which of course he denied ever doing. I tried looking around forums and tweets, but couldn't find a thing. He said an ominous thing about how I should be satisfied at this, and just walked away, leaving me sat there, feeling like a goon, not knowing what to think. I eventually took to the internet to try find any traces about the event, but all I could find were jokes and concerns about YouTube going down, and nothing more. As I sat there, exhausted on things to do, I came to a few ideas. The timing of YouTube going down was too much to be a coincidence, so there are two possibilities in my head. Either YouTube pulled the plug in time and interrupted the broadcast before it could finish what it set out to do. Or they were too late and whatever they've planned is yet to come.